Now for the final step in my vacuum table build. I'll be adding a zone spoil board. Here I am cutting the inch and a half MDF into pieces for the different zones. Because MDF has a hard surface skin on both sides, I'm just going to lay the pieces out on the table and allow the vacuum to do its job and hold it down as I run the surfacing program again. Now that this side is all surfaced, I need to flip them over and repeat the process. One slight difference is, is that I'm sealing the edges of the boards to help control the vacuum loss between zones. And since this is the final time I'm moving these boards, I'm actually going to be screwing them down, recessing the screws by about an inch and a quarter. I do that so then I'll have ample room to resurface as I use the machine. By removing skin from both sides, it'll allow air to pass through the board completely and allowing the vacuum to suck through and hold the, hold the material down. So let's give it a test. I have a piece of masonite here that I'm trying to hold down and I'm putting all my weight on it and it's not moving. I try in both directions, again it doesn't move. It has very good lateral grip. So now I'm off to get the worst piece of plywood that I own. 
this thing is cupped, bowed. Let's see if uh, this vacuum table will be able to hold it down. I find that when you have a bowed piece of plywood, that it's better to have the bow up so then the edges are mainly down so then the vacuum will suck it down towards the center. It takes less effort to hold it I think than it would the, the edges go in the opposite direction. So let me turn the vacuum on and this is the result. It's sucking it down for the most part but it still is a little bit warped because it's just warped in all directions but it's holding it down and holding it rather well. I try flipping it over just to see if it would hold. And well, that's not going to happen. Well, that's it, everybody. CNC is ready to go. And start cutting. Thanks for watching.